The Matrix range, one of which you can see here, is in its eighth year of production and continues into 2018 with four models across three trim specifications. Adria describes it as a crossover range, somewhere between a low profile, an overcab coach built and an A-class. As you can see from the sweeping aerodynamic lines above the windscreen, it's much closer to the former than either of the latter two. What's more, it's a pretty flexible beast too. You can specify it on either the Fiat or Citroen base vehicle, this particular model is on the Fiat Ducato, and have either Truma or Aldi heating, depending on which specification line you choose to go for. So let's take a look at this. It's a fixed bed model at the very top of the range. The Matrix has received an interior refresh for 2018, and I think it looks fantastic and modern. The furniture is in symphony white, which tones really well with this cream leather upholstery. However, you might find that the table and the overhead lockers, which have positive catches to open them, are prone to picking up sticky finger marks. The lounge area will seat five people in comfort, and what's more, you can all dine here easily too, thanks to the large table, which can be moved backwards and forwards to reach each occupant. If you fancy just sitting back and relaxing, it's easy to do that as well, helped in part by the massive skylight which you'll find up above me. It allows plenty of illumination into the cab area, and if that's not enough for you, you can always touch one of these lights. Check these out. Still in the front, this side seat converts into a forward-facing fifth belted seat, pleasingly matching the number of berths. The kitchen is located in the centre of the van, with the main work surface over here on the near side. There's not a huge amount of work surface to use, but you can always drop down the top of the three burner hob and use that as a bit of extra preparation space. Elsewhere, it's pretty well equipped, including a Thetford combined oven and grill, a reasonably deep sink with an attractive tap and a good amount of storage. Turn around and you're faced with this huge Thetford fridge. What's more, there's an enormous freezer compartment up above too, perfect for storing your ice, ready for your G&T of an evening. Control panels have come a long way over the past few years, and this is a particularly modern example. Everything you need is in one easy place, and it looks great too. Alongside is the control panel for the Aldi heating system, which you'll get if you go for the top of the range Supreme model. Step into the centre of the motorhome and you'll find the washroom, which is split across both sides of the corridor. Down the bottom, there's a bit of space taken up by the wheel arch, but in general, it's a pretty good size. I also like the inclusion of the Aldi radiator, which will keep the area nice and warm in the winter. There's a roof light up top as well, so it's nice bright space. Opposite is the usual fare that you'd expect to find in a washroom, a Thetford electric flush swivel toilet and plenty of storage. The basin is not the biggest example we've ever seen, but it looks pretty smart and it should be perfectly big enough for your ablutions in the morning. There is an absolute wealth of storage available in this motorhome, not least in the rear bedroom area. Beneath both of these beds is a huge amount of space where you can store your bits and bobs. One thing I do love is this pair of doors. They open out wide, swing back into place, and you have a huge storage area for fishing rods, skis, or anything else that takes your fancy. And that's not all. You can keep your valuables safely hidden out of sight in this cubby hole in the floor or in this little unit under the step. Storage is all very well, of course, but bedrooms are for comfort, and this one certainly offers comfort in spades. You won't be able to sit up and read in bed because of these three lockers overhead, but it does mean that there's a good amount of storage up top as well as underneath the beds. I also really like these shelves up here, which are perfect for storing a glass of water or perhaps your own glasses. You can have the bed just as you can see it here, or you can pull out this unit, add in a cushion and create a double. So there are two great berths at the back of the motorhome, but that's not the only sleeping option available to you. In the lounge, you have a bed that can be made up from the sofas. It's pretty much just an occasional bed though, because the star of the show drops down from the ceiling above. And that's all there is to it. Adria is so confident in its complex build construction of this model that this year it's offering a 10-year water ingress warranty. That's not the only fact you need to know. You also need to know that it rides on a 3.5 ton Fiat Ducato chassis and that it costs £65,925. It might sound like a lot of money, it is a lot of money, but what that will get you is a motorhome that should serve you well both now and for many years in the future.